Hi, my name is Trevor Lloyd, the head golf professional here at Links on the Bayou Golf Course in Alexandria. I get questions all the time about how to stop missing short putts, so I thought I'd like take some time to address them with you. Today's golf tip of the week is how to stop missing those short putts. So what I've got here is I've set up a little drill that I use when I practice putting. I have two tees where my ball is at to help me reference my club face position, and I have a tee closer to my target, and that's my aiming point. After I've read the break, okay, the first mistake that most amateurs make is they don't give the break enough credit, and they often miss the putt on the low side. If the ball gets onto the low side of the cup, it's never going to have a chance of going in, so it's important to stay on the high side. So what I've done is I've read the break and I've put a tee accordingly and that's going to be my reference point for my aim. When I take my setup, I'm going to make sure that my club face is perpendicular to these golf tees. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim it up as square as I can to my, my reference point behind the cup so that I know when I follow through, if I go towards my target line, that that putt has a really good chance of going in. It's important that we focus on the head movement as well. Any little bit of head movement can, can alter the club face at impact. And if it's open or closed slightly, we're gonna miss the putt. Distance and direction are very important in putting, and it's even more important on the short shots because we know they're not always the easiest ones. That should help you stop missing those short putts. Now come see us at Links on the Bayou.